Most of the rules of baseball have been around since the late 1800s. Like three strikes and you're out, nine men on the field, or fair, or foul ball. There are 45 categories of regulations in the MLB rulebook. The 191-page document is unique, complex, and idiosyncratic. In other words, it can be difficult to understand. This year, two new categories were added to the rulebook and one was altered. The result is three new rules that have baseball purists reeling. The altered category regards the size of the base Bases will be three inches bigger this year, going from 15 to 18 square inches. The primary goal of the rule change is to give players more room to operate and thus avoid collisions. This is particularly true at first base, where fielders will have an extra three inches to work and stay out of harm's way while receiving throws. It is believed that this rule change will have a modest impact on stolen bases as well since the distance between first and second, and second to third, is now four and a half inches closer. It could also reduce the number of overslides into the bases. The other two changes for 2023 have caused some wailing and gnashing of teeth. They are shift limits and a pitch clock. The shift limits are designed to increase the batting average on balls in play. That number has gone down steadily in the era of the shift. Back in 2006, the league-wide batting average on balls in play was 301. By this year, it had plummeted to 291. So for this season, the defense must have four players on the infield with two each on either side of second base. Infielders are not allowed to switch sides either to get a better defender in position to field the ball on the opposite side of his normal position. Teams are allowed to position an outfielder in the infield or very shallow in the outfield, but four outfield alignments are prohibited. If the defensive team violates the shift rule, the offensive team may choose an automatic ball or the result of the play. Now the big one, the pitch clock. Designed to increase the pace of play, it was used throughout minor league baseball last year in the equivalent of 8,000 major league games. Despite vocal objections no. from purists, it has received high marks from players and coaches alike. There is a strict 30 seconds between batters, and once the at-bat begins, the clock does too. 15 seconds between pitches when the bases are empty. The pitcher gets five seconds per pitch when runners are on base. In that case, the number increases to 20 seconds between pitches. Batters are culpable too. They must be in the box and alert by the eight second mark. If the pitcher exceeds his time limit, it's an automatic ball. If the batter does, it's an automatic strike. The rule also includes a stipulation on the number of times a pitcher can disengage from the rubber. He can only step off or attempt a pickoff twice, although the limit does reset if the runner advances. If the pitcher steps off a third time, the runner is awarded the next base. These represent some of the most significant rules changes in the storied history of baseball. The pitch clock in particular will change the way the game is played and the way it's consumed, but it won't change the game. It's still baseball a game that requires you to play by the rules.